Welcome to the Bladed Tech Channel's 36th edition of the Tesla and SpaceX Redux. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of May 24th to May 30th in the history of Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, The Boring Company, and Elon Musk's other various business ventures. May 24th, 2019. The Starlink 0.9 batch of 60 broadband internet satellites was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 B-5 rocket, Booster 1049, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40 near this date. The booster successfully returned to a drone ship. Following the launch of two test satellites, this was the first full-scale launch of the Starlink Constellation, launching production design satellites. Each Starlink satellite has a mass of 500 pounds, and the combined launch mass was 30,000 pounds heaviest payload launched by SpaceX at that time. The fairings were recovered and reused for Starlink 5 in March of 2020. These are the first commercial satellites to use Krypton as fuel for the ion thrusters, which is about one-tenth the cost of the usual Xenon. May 25, 2017. The Defense One website wrote on this date, quote, Rocket Lab is the startup that's about to eat Elon Musk's lunch. The company is aiming to put small satellites in low Earth orbit at a fraction of the cost of even SpaceX. The article went on to say that Rocket Lab's use of advanced batteries and 3D printing allowed for simpler design and manufacture over that of companies like SpaceX and the ULA. The company hoped to eventually conduct 50 launches per year. The primary launch vehicle used by Rocket Lab is the Electron rocket. As of May 2021, the Electron has launched 25 times since the Defense One article was written, three of which were failures, the most recent occurring in the week before the release of this video. 15 launches are scheduled for 2021. In contrast, SpaceX has 44 launches scheduled for 2021, with the one and only launch failure occurring in 2015 on an older generation Falcon 9 rocket. The ULA has 15 launches scheduled for 2021, with the one and only launch failure occurring in 2007 with an Atlas V rocket. May 26, 2021. The Starlink 28 group of 60 broadband internet satellites were lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 B-5 rocket, Booster 1063, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40 on or about this date. The booster was scheduled to return to a drone ship. The launch will likely complete the first shell of the Starlink network located at 550 kilometers in altitude and containing 1,584 satellites. About 100 of the first tranche of satellites have failed in orbit, making it necessary to launch replacements. Phase one of the Starlink business plan calls for about 4,500 satellites orbiting at 550 kilometers. The first tranche is expected to enable beta services to nine different countries by the end of June 2021, including the US, Canada, and Germany which all have already entered beta service. May 27th, 2016. The TICOM-8 satellite was lifted to orbit on a Falcon 9 FT rocket, Booster 1049, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40 on this date. The booster successfully returned to a drone ship. It was the second successful return from a geosynchronous transfer orbit launch for a booster after delivering TICOM-8 towards the 78.5 degree east longitude position. Booster 1049 later became the first booster to be reflown after being recovered from a GTO launch. May 28, 2010. Website VentureBeat.com revealed in this date the gist of Elon Musk's court filing with the Superior Court of Los Angeles concerning his divorce from his first wife, Justine. Musk had written, quote, About four months ago, I ran out of cash. I had to obtain emergency loans from personal friends. These loans are the exclusive source of cash I have. If I did not take these loans, I would have no liquid assets left. There is no word who the friends are from which he borrowed money. The court documents show that the electric car entrepreneur was spending $200,000 each month while bringing in only $8,255 in personal income. The monthly spending went largely toward his wife and their five children, 
with the remainder covering his own modest living expenses. Justine never remarried, making it likely Musk still pays his level of support as of the date of this video. However, unlike in 2010, SpaceX and Tesla's success have made it simpler for Musk to cover the cash outlay. May 29th, 2015. Three business executives vacationing in the Bahamas came across part of a SpaceX Falcon 9 fairing that washed ashore on this date. They shared their find with Elon Musk via Twitter, texting, quote, We found part of your SpaceX washed ashore in the Bahamas. Musk tweeted back, quote, Cool. Thanks for letting us know. This is helpful for figuring out fairing reusability. The men said they would return the GoPro camera and SIM cards mounted inside the fairing back to SpaceX. Article 5 of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 establishes that spacecraft and astronauts must be returned to their nation of origin. Thus, the Bahamas, who is a signatory of the treaty, could not impound the fairing. It is not clear whether U.S. citizens can salvage U.S. commercial spacecraft as opposed to U.S. government property, which has been vigorously claimed by the U.S. to date. SpaceX did release the video showing a fairing falling back to Earth on June 5th that seemed to be from the fairing in question. May 30th, 2020. The Crew Dragon Man Capsule, C-206, was lifted to the ISS on a Falcon 9 B-5 rocket, Booster 1058, from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A on this date the booster successfully returned to a drone ship. It was the first crewed orbital spaceflight from American soil since space shuttle mission STS-135 in July of 2011. The craft carried NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. The SpaceX live stream peaked at 4.1 million viewers, while NASA estimated roughly 10 million people watched on various online platforms. More than 150,000 people gathered on Florida's space coast to watch the launch in person, despite the risks of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Before we get to the current event of the week, we wanted to see if you enjoyed this 36th episode of Bladed Tech's Tesla and SpaceX Redux. If so, click that like button. Did you agree with our choices or are there other events that were better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. And if you have suggestions for an event in the future, we'll take those too. We'll credit events we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe and subscribing is free. On May 3rd, 2021, CNBC published the extent of which Tesla earned income in 2020 from SpaceX and the Boring Company. The data was based on a filing submitted by Tesla to the SEC. The filing showed related party transactions that included SpaceX purchasing $2.6 million worth of Tesla vehicle components and $1.5 million worth of Tesla energy systems, components and services in 2020. The filing also said the Boring Company purchased Tesla Energy Systems and Related Services for a total of $300,000 during 2020. The truth is, the amounts are just a rounding error in Tesla's books, who posted $32 billion in sales in 2020. It is actually more surprising there isn't more intercompany cooperation between Musk's enterprises, even given the disparate nature of their businesses. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 250 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech gaming channel in videos called 
walkthroughs, and side missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed, and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.